Okay, first off, Mona, congratulations. You are the Young Athlete of the Year sponsored by WOOP. Um, incredible achievement given the caliber of athletes uh, on it this year. Thank you so much. Oh my God, that's that's amazing. Um, there was so much good competition that I didn't expect to win. And I guess it's just so nice to look back at such, such a successful year and, and see that other people realize that it was successful too. Um, it was a fantastic year for you, 2021. Uh, take us through the Olympics first off you know you were trying to qualify you achieved that dream and then you got there and made it to an Olympic final yeah I I mean I was so lucky that the Olympic qualification was somewhat of you know it, it was great to get it in my first race um it was really nice to just kind of have it over and done with because it had been something with the extra year that I had been building to for so long that the relief was just unbelievable because I knew it was something that I could achieve um, and it just gave me the opportunity to really relax and kind of enjoy the journey after I'd qualified and gotten my place on the team. And then to be able to watch and see as the team just grew and got bigger and bigger. Um, even in June when we had our second trials was just so enjoyable as well. And I think it made the experience so much better to be able to share it with more people. And then you obviously went out to Tokyo, had a fantastic competition and became the first Irish swimmer to make an Olympic final in 25 years. What was that like? That was, I think that was icing on the cake, to be honest. I, I didn't really anticipate that for my plan. That was probably a plan for 2024 Olympics. So it was nice to, to be able to finish, you know, on such a high and, and be able to make it to a final and I guess just once again, kind of solidify that I have the ability to be up there with the best. And, you know, it just, it just felt amazing. And it was an unreal experience. Even just all the support that I got from back home was, it was really enjoyable. Yeah, certainly a, a different kind of Olympics um, with COVID, but absolutely like great performances from the team. You previously spoke about your move to the US and how that took a bit of pressure off a change of scenery and a new focus. Talk about uh, what it's like over there and, and what it was like in the lead up oh it's it's been great I think having we had SECs which we're now competing at right now again uh last year around this time and then we had NCAA so that kind of took up a lot of my focus in February and March um before the Olympic trials and I thought that that was great in the sense that I wasn't I didn't have a sole focus there was something else going on and more races more competition and really out here it is just so competitive and it gives you way more opportunities to compete even though it's in a 25 yard pool you know competing is competing no matter how you do it and I think that that really helped me just be ready to swim well in April and then also to be ready to race and compete in the summer um, and I do count myself less because I'm thinking I'm one of very few athletes that really got an opportunity to compete a lot in the the 2020 2021 season because it was kind of COVID was still pretty difficult to manage at that point um, and I know that a lot of athletes struggled getting competition so it I think it really helped me that way and then just having a team and a new environment to get used to just filled up my time too. Yeah it seems like there's a, a great environment over there and the, the size of the team you know brings excitement and uh, like you're saying drives everybody forward. Moving on to the short course world championship. So you got yourself a medal again, you know, making history an incredible achievement for you. Yeah, it was, that was just another great end to, you know, a really good year. I didn't, again, I didn't expect to, I wasn't going in hoping for a medal. I was just going into, my plan was to make it to a final in all three breaststroke events, which I did. Um, and then just to be able to, you know, push it that little bit further and to finish as highly as I could place wise and be able to, you know, sneak a medal was, was just really nice. And, you know, it was great to be able to get my hands on the wall and, and get third. And then to also be there to witness Ellen, you know, win her first international medal was just unbelievable too. So I think, again, it was just a great competition and we all enjoyed kind of meeting up again after the Olympics and it was really just a lot of fun. And I think that's, that's the big thing I took from this year was, you know, competing can be really stressful, but at the end of the day, you know, we choose to do this and I think you have to find the fun in it. And this, this whole season has just been so enjoyable and I think that that's kind of helped me moving into the new season and making sure that I'm always having fun when I'm racing. 
uh, there was great excitement between yourself and Alan when the when you both got the medals and it's great to see that like to have you know the two of you competing for Ireland and then also racing over there together and training together it's obviously you know great to push the boundaries like you're you're both pushing the boundaries for Irish swimming and you know like the amount of Irish records you've set this year like have you have you counted how many times you've broken different records or no I don't I don't even know if I could keep a track of that I think that's you know I find it hard enough sometimes to rem- remember my my swim times so I think adding an extra thing would be too much <laughs> yeah no it's been incredible um in, in terms of like what you've achieved this year uh, for it all and you know such a role model for all the young athletes out there so what's that like you know to know that you're kind of the, at the top of Irish swimming you're really setting the the way for the future I mean it's it's such a privilege honestly it it still feels weird to me I think it always will be that there are little kids and you know younger swimmers that are looking up to me because I still feel quite young myself Um, And I'm still learning and, you know, figuring out ways to do things and things that don't work. So of course, nothing is perfect. And it never will be, there's always going to be room to improve. But I, I do really enjoy having the ability to, I guess, show younger athletes, what is out there if they stay in the sport. And I know there are hard times, and it's it's not going to be plain sailing and easy, but it really does give you so much and I'm I'm so blessed and thankful for everything that I've gotten from swimming and will continue to get as far as friends and being able to travel and see the world and and just getting to do what I love um and I think that that's that's so important and that's like the big message I guess but you know even having little kids that write letters and ask questions is just it really it makes me so happy um and I think Ellen, you know, Ellen and me both agree that like we we love being able to, you know, su- support younger generations and, and watch them grow too. And uh, it's just so enjoyable. Yeah, when you hear all the achievements that you've had in, in 2021 and like you've nodded there that you still feel young, like you are still young. So what does it feel like to have done all of that in one year, but at the age that you are? It definitely was a busy year, I think. Um, and I don't know, I mean, because swimming doesn't necessarily have like an age, like when you get to seniors, it's just everyone together. I think age kind of blends away because, you know, you could be racing against young athletes or older ones and it really doesn't matter. So I think like I'm I'm just going and taking it one step at a time. And when I get to a competition, I set myself goals and I try to achieve them. And, you know, if if I reach those and go higher, that's unbelievable. And that's great. Um, And, you know, it won't always work out that way, but I, I don't know. Yeah. It has just, I think everything just fell. It just all came together this year and it it was, it was great. And, you know, hopefully I can have another great year like that. So what's next for Rona McSarry? Well, I'm currently racing at the SECs for Tennessee, and we're hoping to win that and then go on to NCAAs. Um, and then after that, I'll be setting my sights on a couple of long course meets this summer, like World Championships and European Championships. And yeah, we'll just be setting up preparation for long course and seeing how that goes. And then hopefully a short course meet at the end of the year again. So it's it's a lot of travel. It's a lot of competing. But, you know, I'm I'm really happy to be back. and. And racing I think the year off was weird when we didn't have anything during the summer for COVID and you know last year we had the Olympics and that was great so it's, it's nice to be able to to be traveling and competing again. And in terms of your ultimate goal like what is the the pinnacle for you when it comes to swimming and your career? Um, it's it's hard to pick one honestly um, I still have a lot of small little goals left of course you know my next probably the goal that's farthest in my future at the moment is definitely Paris 2024. Um, And I've given myself this year not to think about it too much because it is still quite far away. Um, But I think if I'm looking at future goals, that's probably the next big one um, with loads of small little stepping stones along the way. Congratulations on being the Young Athlete of the Year sponsored by WIS. Thank you so much. (laughs) 